G'day guys, I thought I might give you a little bit of a track report of how the Easy Trail Sterling has gone on the border track. It is not a track for the faint of heart. It has lots of lumps and bumps. In fact, in a lot of ways, it is just as challenging as the Simpson Desert. Maybe a little bit shorter, but every bit is challenging going up and down those sand dunes. So having a camper trailer behind you, well, it does certainly put it to the test. Now, this one, this is a Mark III, so it's the third generation for the Sterling. But the big difference with this camper trailer is the new chassis that they've engineered underneath it. It is called the F5 chassis, and it is certified for proper off-road use. So this chassis actually has a lifetime warranty to it, so that shows a fair bit of confidence from Easy Trail. And I guess the big tester is, how has it gone over this journey? And it definitely gets my two thumbs up. Uh, it's got independent suspension under there, so it does float over the dunes really, really quite well. And I guess once you know that those underpinnings in your camper trailer are rock solid, or at least articulate really nicely off-road, that is the biggest question you need to ask. And then you start to want to look at the luxuries on the camper trailer. And this one certainly has plenty. We have a diesel heater in there with a nice little built-in fuel tank to keep you nice and warm on those desert winter nights. It's also got a hot water shower. It's got a couple of water tanks. It's got, I think, at least two batteries, possibly three. But in terms of going away with the family, uh, you have got bucket loads of storage. It is literally all over here. I mean, have a look at this. This is an Engel 40 litre fridge. Um, I think we could comfortably fit an Engel 80 litre, and if they made a 120 litre, it'd probably fit in there as well. So loads and loads of space. We've got storage boxes off the front, storage boxes off the back. You've got big drawers that slide out in here. You've got a massive kitchen in here. The kitchen is exceptionally sturdy, really. You've got the water pumps there, so you can feed hot water in there as well. And inside, it is really a good size, either for a couple or for a family, because you've got a massive big king-size bed up the front. Down the back end, you've got a nice lounge area, but you can also turn that into a bed. So if you want to sleep the kids or anything up the back end of this camper, um, dead easy to do. Just lower the table down, rearrange your cushions, and you have even more accommodation there. And if you want to turn even more of the outside into a living area, then you can put walls down all over here and have a really expansive living area. I don't tend to do that personally unless I'm gonna stay somewhere for two, three nights because it does take a little bit longer to set up. But in terms of just, you know, pulling up for a quick night, I'll either just flip the unit up itself and tuck into bed, but yeah, any longer for a few more nights or if the weather's coming over, a bit of extra cover and you are absolutely laughing. So. There you go, guys. There's my little uh, track report on the Easy Trail Mark III Sterling. Not a bad bit of gear.